Hey guys, Steve Simpson here with Central Florida Property Management. Hope you guys are, are doing well. Wanted to chat real quick about paint. Um, it's something that comes up a lot, especially when we take over new properties, and that is kind of the paint quality and how to get it to a quality, a level of quality where it's kind of good for everybody. So obviously, generally speaking, we want to minimize our expenses. So if possible, touch-up paint is great. A few things about touch-up paint. A good thing is the technology behind touch-up paint, if you will, in the recent past has come a long way. Nowadays, you can basically take a little piece of drywall out of the property, take it to Lowe's, Home Depot, whoever, we'll zap it with a little a laser computer deal, and it'll tell you the paint color that the that is so you can get touch-up paint. A couple things to note, paint does fade over time. If you painted a house and then five years later took that same can of paint and touch, try to touch the paint up, more, more likely than not, that paint's not going to match because the paint fades with environmental stuff, um, sun, what have you. Uh, but using the computer, it gets you closer to the exact paint match. I would say it's about 80% accurate, so eight out of 10 times it'll be, you know, suitable where it's, uh, it's good enough to where you can touch it up. Um, if at all possible, that's the way to go. Now, I, again, if the paint's very old, sometimes it doesn't really work. Sometimes also, paint can just look old and uh, you know that's obviously not attractive to the tenants. One benefit of repainting a home, and I guess I should specify, when we, when we repaint a home, with maybe some exceptions depending on if it's a super high-end home or something, we're gonna do all one color uh, walls and then all white doors trim, uh, molding, all that good stuff. And the reason we do that is it makes touching it up after you do that initial paint job way easier. So we get a property we take on Let's say it's got four or five different colors in it. The paint's like seven years old. It's got a bunch of little pinholes in the wall. In my opinion, it makes a lot more sense to just have that whole property repainted of one color than to try to touch up seven walls. For one thing, it's touched it up. 80% hit rate on seven walls it lowers your total chance of you getting the touch-ups to work to like 30%, which isn't great. Uh, and then to look at it kind of going forward, our philosophy generally is to set the property up as a good sustainable rental property. And one way of doing that is to paint paint the property, again, one color. So what's good about that? A, it looks nice, people like it. Generally speaking, the property all being one color makes it feel bigger, which people like. Uh, B, when the tenants move out, it's either one, easier for them to touch the paint up because it's all one color and the paint's still there, or two, if they don't, it's easy for us to touch the paint up. So we can get the thing, you know, turned over really quick. So hopefully you have that one paint job and even though the quote unquote useful life of the paint is five years, you know, if you've got some good tenants in there and if the, the paint isn't, doesn't get too bad with being scuffed up and what have you, it's just maybe some nail holes, you can probably keep that paint going, assuming again it's kind of been prepped for that one time uh, for a while. Uh, and then for security deposit purposes, just to kind of go back a little bit, if you have a property with six different colors of paint and it's got a few nail holes in it, if the tenants, you know, you've been living there a while, let's say, you had a tenant in there, it's, it's okay. The tenants come in and they put more holes in it and they can't touch up, you know, three of the seven walls that are different color paint. It's kind of hard to charge them with a security deposit with that. You know, I always think about it, if I'm in front of a judge and I'm telling this judge, well, yeah, there were some holes in that wall, but not all these ones they put, or well, yeah, it was seven different colors of paint, but yada, yada, yada. More likely than not, a judge is not going to agree that the security deposit should be taken for that matter. Whereas again, if you have one color, it makes it a lot easier. It just kind of sets you, sets you up for success, I would say. So. I know that's not some direct advice in terms of what should we do, A or B. Uh, it's very dependent on your whole situation. Again, we want to save money. We know keeping costs down is, is the name of the game. Part of that cost is vacancy. So I think when you factor in you know, how long you're going to be holding the property as a rental, how easy it'll be to rent, maximizing your, uh, I guess, reducing your time on market and maximizing your rental amount, and looking at it over a three, five, seven year window, not just a one year window. If your paint that you got is a little bit old, got a few holes in it, a bunch of different colors, it's probably worth your while if you ran the numbers over, like I said, a three or five, seven year window to have the place painted you know, one color um, and uh, just to make it kind of your life easier and the property making more money. So hopefully that's not too in the weeds. If you guys have any questions or thoughts, I'd love to hear them. Uh, please give us a call, shoot us an email, or leave a comment below and hope you guys are doing great.